Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan are the beloved lead stars as Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes in The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. The actors appeared together in many Marvel movies these last few years, but who's the richer one? Well, keep watching to find out more about this and the net worth of the whole cast of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Anthony Mackie Marvel's Captain America Mackie got interested in acting when he was in high school, where he studied drama in the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts and the North Carolina School of the Arts. In 2001, he graduated from the Juilliard School's Drama Division. The actor has a great acting career as he appeared in movies such as including 8 Mile, The Manchurian Candidate, and Million Dollar Baby. In 2009, he made growth in his career with his role in the Academy Award-winning movie The Hurt Locker. The actor made his first Marvel Cinematic Universe appearance in 2014 as Sam Wilson, aka The Falcon, in Captain America The Winter Soldier. He presented the role for various projects, including Avengers Endgame in 2019. After Chris Evans' departure from the franchise, Mackie will be the MCU's next Captain America. Sebastian Stan did you guys know that Sebastian was born in Romania? He moved to New York in his teenage years and he took roles in theater productions in high school and went on to study drama at Rutgers University's Mason Gross School of the Arts and the Shakespeare's Globe Theater in London. He has appeared in movies such as Tony and Tina's Wedding and The Covenant and probably one of his most famous roles is Stan Carter Basin in Gossip Girl. He starred in the cult comedy Hot Tub Time Machine and the Oscar-winning film Black Swan. And in 2011, he made his MCU debut as Bucky Barnes in Captain America The First Avenger. Stan portrayed the role for five Marvel movies, including Captain America The Winter Soldier, his new series with Mackie, The Falcon, and The Winter Soldier. No! Anthony Mackie vs. Sebastian Stan Mackie and Stan both have very strong acting careers but you'll be surprised to know that their net worth is actually lower than the one of some of their co-stars. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Stan's current net worth stands at $4 million, Mackie's one stands at $8 million. The star's salaries for The Falcon and The Winter Soldier are not known yet, but based on the show's growing popularity, they should expect raise in their paychecks. We believe both actors are upon a bright Marvel career, and they've just started. Danny Ramirez, $1 million. Starring as Joaquin Torres in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Danny has a net worth of $1 million. He's the latest extension to the Marvel's Amazing Show, and most of us know him thanks to his role in On My Block, but we can't help but admire for his role in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Joaquin Torres. Danny Ramirez's first on screen TV roles were in Showtime's The Affair and NBC's Blind Spot. He played the role of Paolo in one episode of Orange is the New Black then Wes in The Gifted and Mario Martinez in On My Block. He has also appeared in Assassination Nation, Tone Deaf, Valley Girl, and Root Letter, as well as The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. He's initiated to perform in Top Gun Maverick. According to the FamousData.com, he is estimated to have a net worth of around $1 million, but this is not confirmed yet, so he might be richer than this. Why? Sure about that? Clay Bennett, $1.5 million Before being the newest addition to the cast of ABC's hit drama Rookie Blue, Clay played Gemini award-winning roles in the CBC miniseries Guns and in the HBO series The Line. The talented performer's incomes comes mostly from television hits such as Arrow, Cracked, The Listener, and Murdoch. resources for the refugees who are displaced by the return. The Global Repatriation Council. Daniel Grohl, $4 million It's all millions with these folks. You probably remember Daniel from his portrayal of Formula One driver Nicky Lauda in the Ron Howard biographical film Rush. He got many award nominations for this performance including the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor, Critics' Choice Award for Best Supporting Actor, Screen Actors Guild Award and the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Wyatt Russell, $4 million Wyatt Russell was actually a very good hockey player, but in 2010, he quit hockey and chose to dedicate himself to acting. Being just 10 years old, Russell made his movie debut with Escape from LA. He played an orphan boy in the movie. In 1998, he appeared as Todd in the movie Soldier, in which his father, Kurt Russell, was playing the lead role. 
One of his most recent roles was in 2014 when he played Zook in the action comedy movie 22's Jump Street, where he worked with Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. You were working with Bucky, so I thought I'd step in. Bucky's not going to be following a strict schedule any longer. Adipero Adui, $7 million. Adipero Adui has been in the acting industry for quite some time, and she has appeared in many famous and acclaimed movies throughout her career. She made her acting debut in the 2006 film Half Nelson. She has also appeared in TV shows, including episodes of Louie and Law and & Order. However, she got her big break with the role of Dee Reeses in the popular and award-winning independent film Pariah, for which she won numerous awards and a nomination for Best Female Lead at the Independent Spirit Awards. I got the space cape or whatever while I was holding it together for five long years. None of the Emily Van Camp, $8 million. Emily Van Camp has appeared in many movies including Rings, The Ring 2, Norman, Black Irish, A Different Loyalty, Redeemer, and Lost and Delirious. She has also worked in many TV shows, and back in 2009, Van Camp also appeared in the film Carriers and Beyond the Blackboard. In 2011, she was starred in the ABC drama show Revenge. Miki Ishikawa, $9 million. She started her career as a Disney star just like Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, and Demi Lovato. She has appeared in TV series such as Zoe 101, Yo Teach, 911, and NCIS Los Angeles. With that high net worth, the actress has most of her income from her acting career spanning over more than 15 years recognition to her stints in Hit and The Terror. But she also earned a lot from her singing career as a part of T-Squad. I have a shift, but if you want to come back here, I should be done around 10. George St. Pierre, $30 million. What was a shock for us and probably a shock for you is George St. Pierre's net worth, which is $30 million. Since he's a retired Canadian mixed martial artist, his talents in the field are often used in the movie industry. Most people know him as GSP, and he's often referred to as one of the best fighters in mixed martial arts history. He retired in 2013 as the reigning welterweight champion, having won the most title matches in UFC history. GSP won many awards and accolades throughout his career. He was named Canadian Athlete of the Year and was inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame in 2020. George St. Pierre was not expecting to return to the MCU universe after his role in Captain America Winter Soldier. However, he could not help but notice, my character did not die, St. Pierre told the rap. With Batroc the Leaper alive and well and able to return to fight for the forces of evil, the creators of Falcon and the Winter Soldier chose to not only bring George St. Pierre back, but to extend his role. Who's your favorite Falcon and the Winter Soldier actor? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.